Okay, guys, so I've completed the installation of uh, an alternative uh, brake booster onto the Volvo Amazon. Um, and this, these are some of the pitfalls and some of the things that needed to happen. But ultimately, uh, the brakes are beautiful. They kick in well. They're efficient. Uh, lovely soft feel to the pedal and then brakes completely. Um, I've done quite a bit of test driving, hard, hard braking, soft braking, and she works beautifully. So let's start at the back. Um, what we've done was to... We found that the, the shaft at the back of the booster didn't quite reach the linkage that goes to the, to the pedal. Um, this is the model with the booster sitting on the engine side, distributor side of the engine. Um, so what we did was to to cut off the little shaft that, that that's at the back of the booster of the old one and welded that on to um, the linkage of of the booster I used which by the way is from is for a, a golf mark one um, we found that it didn't quite reach this so we spliced in that piece which also allows adjustment of the pedal so so that little shaft is allows adjustment you can screw it in and out um, and you can then get your resting position of your brakes uh, or the brake pedal at the right position as I said that that now becomes adjustable whereas the golf one wasn't adjustable um, the actual unit is slimmer but it is wider in diameter so it does get very close to your spark plug so taking out plug number three is probably going to be a bit more more of a challenge in future so you've got to have a, probably a, a short so socket um to get that spark plug out um as you can see that's an original vw part uh, if you want it to be a volvo part you can always tipix out that w <laughs> um but nevertheless, I also had to get a reservoir, brake fluid reservoir, uh, for the Golf 1 to fit the master cylinder. It doesn't come with a, with a kit. I couldn't find a new one. I had to settle on a used one. And then the last bit of modification uh, is for the brake fluid pipes, um, which instead of sitting this side of the cylinder, sits on the other side. So that's to come in with a twist. Uh, but essentially, just to recap on the pricing, the the <coughs> booster with a master cylinder was uh, from Goldwagen, uh, 1,455 rand. The, the pipes I got for 100 bucks for both of them. They're a bit longer than what they should be, but I, I rather err on the longer side than on the shorter side. Um, I had to get um, the original um vacuum pipe that goes with the golf as well that was spliced in with my own pipe um we did put on uh, this little vacuum pipe to close up two little outlets that that comes on the original um uh fitment but that's not required for this car so to block off those two outlets we just closed it up with the vacuum pipe uh, but that's a nice snug fit that is obviously your non-return valve that goes to the manifold so that uh so that i said that was 1455 rand this was about 200 bucks these pipes were 100 rand uh that i actually got for free but you might pay 50 bucks or 100 bucks at the breaker's yard if you don't get a new one other than that she works really well um the, this part took the longest, which um, involved a bit of welding, and we had to play with the lens a little bit. We measured it not correctly the first time; it was too long. But if you if you assemble all your parts in advance, if you get your brake uh, so your, your your pipes made, and you get your all your goodies in order before the time we had to slip out to the shops and go hunting for parts as we went along so it took six or eight hours to put everything together but if you have everything in terms of assembly 
um, you could probably look at at less than two hours of work. Um, besides the the pipes, the only other engineering was welding on that adjustable piece to make it adjustable um, and cutting off from that or from the old um, booster. But I'm happy. Um, I understand this won't be for purists, but for me, <coughs> I do event drives. I've got to pitch up when the bride wants to go. I do matric ball drives. I've got to be there when the kid wants to go to a matric ball. So for me, it was more about longevity, reliability, and at a cost-effective uh, price. Um, and also, I needed to do this quite speedily. So the solution has worked for me. I understand it won't work for everybody um, who's got high value cars like the p1800 maybe you might want to look at other alternatives but if you're on a budget like i am and you want to get your brakes fixed quickly uh, this is the solution um the ferro brake guys said that they don't the, in, inside the original booster there's bakelite and rubber parts and the diaphragm and all of that and they just cannot access parts for it and this was my solution okay i hope it's useful for you guys